So I, like many, have a lot of books on my TBR. A lot on my physical TBR, but also a lot more on my non-physical TBR. And I, anytime I just hear a book that sounds good, I just write it down in my notes app and I'm like, one day I'll read it. And now I have a long list and so I figured I would go through all of these books and maybe even spark some interest with you guys about these books. A lot of them are from booktube or the classics so they're kind of well known but i do have some that are i've heard are good but i haven't heard a lot of people talk about so they're it's like a mixed bag i'm gonna try my best to pronounce everything as best as i can also if you need trigger warnings i highly suggest looking at them before reading any of the books i suggest now that they're all gonna have trigger warnings but just to be on the safe side if you need to be warned because I haven't read the book and I don't have it with me, I'm going to be kind of summarizing what I have heard about the book from Goodreads and just looking up the back covers on the internet. Hopefully I give a good synopsis of what the book is actually about. But we're just going to get started. The first book is The Bread the Devil Need by Lisa Allen Augustini. And it's basically about this Trinidadian woman named Delafia Lopez who has a traumatic past and is currently in an abusive relationship and one day she sees this woman get murdered by her lover and so she starts reminiscing about her past and her current situation and she just reflects on the person that she is now and what kind of person she could be in the future. The next book is The Deeper the Water the Uglier the Fish by Katia Epikina and it is basically about two sisters one of the sisters finds her mother after trying to take her own life and so the mother is sent to a mental hospital and the two sisters are sent to live with their father one of the sisters is more attached to the mother while the other is more loyal to the father and so we learn about the traumatic and abusive stuff that the two girls go through at the hands of both of their parents and also just how they interpret and deal with what they're going through the next book is don't cry for me by daniel black and it is about a father who writes a letter on his deathbed to his only son and he talks about his reaction to his son being gay and all the trauma that the dad went through and that the son inherited. Overall he just goes over a bunch of emotional stuff in this letter to give to his son about his family and his past and how he's affected his son and all of his thoughts before he passes. Even though the titles don't cry for me, I know I'm gonna cry, but I'm, I'm ready for it. This next book is Milk Fed by Melissa Broder. It is about a young, lapsed Jewish woman who has an eating disorder because her mother taught her to calorie count, and so her therapist advised that she take some time away from her mother. While she was not talking to her mother, one day she goes into a yogurt shop and she sees this Orthodox Jewish woman working at the yogurt shop, and they get to talk in. There's romance, there's talks about religion and there's talks about eating disorders and just learning more about the main character as she goes through this time in her life. The next book is If I Had Your Face by Frances Cha. It is set in Seoul, Korea and it follows four women, Kiori, who got multiple surgeries to be able to work at this room salon where you entertain a bunch of businessmen, Miho, who is an artist who has been dealing with a lot of wealthy elite people. Ara, who is a hairstylist who becomes violently obsessed with a k-pop star, and a woman named Wona who is pregnant but she cannot afford to have a child. And we learn about all their different situations and their friendship. The next book is Cursed Bunny by Bora Chung and it is just a collection of short stories that involve magical realism, horror, and science fiction, and it also has topics about patriarchy and capitalism. I was walking in Barnes and Noble and I saw the cover of this book and it really drew me in and so I flipped through it and I was like you know this looks cool. It is called Upgrade Soul by Ezra Clayton Daniels and it is a graphic novel about a married couple who undergo this experimental rejuvenation procedure but instead of looking more youthful they end up being disfigured but they are intellectually and physically superior than the duplicates of themselves and so they basically are trying to see if they can coexist with their clone. The next book is The Woman Destroyed by Simone de Beauvoir. It contains three stories about three different women. One of them finds out that her husband has been cheating on her. Another woman is upset with her son's 
wife and her values and a third woman is alone on new year's and she's just very frustrated about something and so we just learn about how all three of these women are processing their emotions and female rage continuing on with the pink and green book cover theme we have the house guest and other stories by amparo de Vila. it is basically just a bunch of short stories that can deal with desire paranoia insomnia fear loneliness that's all i really know about it the themes sound interesting so i'm willing to give it a try next is at night all blood is black by david diop it is about a senegalese man named alpha who is fighting in world war one and alpha's friend gets severely injured and so his friend tells alpha to mercy kill him however alpha is unable to do so and so the friend dies a painful long death and alpha is dealing with the grief and the guilt of not being able to mercy kill his friend and so he tries to avenge his friend's death by killing german soldiers and keeping souvenirs of these soldiers and so people around alpha are freaking out and know that there's something wrong with him and so we just learn about how far alpha thinks he needs to go in order to avenge his friend's death next is crime and punishment by fyodor dostoevsky and it is about this man named raskolnikov and he commits a random murder without regret and he truly believes that there is a good reason why he murdered somebody and that he was acting with a higher purpose but as he is being investigated by the police he begins to feel more and more guilty about what he has done the next book is twinkle twinkle by kaori akuni and it is about a married couple the man is gay and has a boyfriend and the woman is not ready to be in a, a relationship because she is emotionally unstable. But they both got married to each other because they wanted to please their parents. And they figured that in some sort of way they could both be happy with this arrangement. But they begin to realize that no marriage is entirely perfect. The last book we're going to talk about is The Dangers of Smoking in Bed by Mariana Enriquez. But before we get started, look at both of these covers. I need a moment of silence to appreciate them. Thank you. They're just both so beautiful, I had to include them both. But anyways, it is another collection of stories talking about fetish, illness, the female body, the darkness of human history, and it's supposed to be unsettling and kind of creepy, and I am interested in that. Yeah, that'll be it. I'm going to continue this because I definitely have a lot more than what was in this video, uh, so hopefully this is interesting in any way. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.